everyone. So this serves as our second video in our introduction to eigenvalues. Recall um, that we're trying to solve what's called the eigenvalue problem, meaning given an n by n matrix A, we want to determine whether there exist vectors x and r to the n such that ax is equal to lambda x. The lambda is called the eigenvalue of A, and the vector x is called the eigenvector of A corresponding to lambda. In our last video, we went through the theory of eigenvectors and eigenvalues. We saw that an eigenvalue of A will be a scalar lambda such that the determinant of lambda i minus A equals zero. And the eigenvectors of A corresponding to lambda are the non-zero solutions of the system, lambda i minus A x equals zero. The equation determinant of lambda i minus A equals zero is called the characteristic equation of lambda. And when written as a polynomial, is called the characteristic polynomial. So the eigenvalues of A are simply the roots of this characteristic polynomial. Now, if the characteristic polynomial has degree n, then A can have at most n distinct eigenvalues. And so the goal of this video is to do two concrete examples uh, where we actually compute eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and we're going to focus on the case when our eigenvalues are real numbers. So for our first example, let's find the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors of the 2 by 2 matrix. 3, 2, 3, negative 2. So the first thing we need to do is to find the characteristic polynomial. So remember, we want to know for what values of lambda is the determinant of lambda i minus a equal to 0. So we want to compute the determinant of lambda i that we see here minus our matrix a. And we subtract those two matrices. Uh, that leads us to the determinant of lambda minus 3, negative 2, negative 3, lambda plus 2. So we compute that determinant. And when we clean it up with our algebra, we see that our determinant factors nicely into lambda plus 3, lambda minus 4. All right, the characteristic polynomial um, is the polynomial that you see here. That's that determinant of lambda i minus a, just written as a polynomial. And our eigenvalues are the roots of that characteristic polynomial. So the eigenvalues in this example are the numbers negative 3 and 4. Okay, so we found our eigenvalues, and now we need to find our eigenvectors. So let's start with the eigenvalue negative 3. So recall that we need to solve the equation negative 3i minus ax equals 0. Since our matrix A in this case is the matrix 3, 2, 3, negative 2, the negative 3i minus a uh, becomes negative 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1. And I've included our constant terms of zero just to help us visualize that solution a little bit better. So we take this um, augmented matrix, we row reduce, we get one one third, and then the rest are zero. So we have infinitely many solutions. That's always going to happen. So we need a parameter in order to describe these solutions. If we let x2 equal t, then we see that our eigenvectors have the form where x1 is negative one third t and x2 is t. If we pull out the t, um, then we see that the eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvalue negative three are all vectors which are scalar multiples of the vector negative one third one. So we can take as our eigenvector negative one third one or any scalar multiple of that vector. And in the previous video, we talked about something called the eigenspace. So we would say that the basis for the eigenspace corresponding to eigenvalue negative three would be any scalar multiple of negative one third one. So for example, we could take the vector negative one three. And so the eigenspace 
corresponding to eigenvalue negative three would have dimension one since there's only one vector in that basis. Okay, so we found the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalue negative three. Now we need to consider our other eigenvalue of four. We need to solve the equation 4i minus ax equals zero. Recall our matrix A in this example is 3, 2, 3, negative 2. So we compute 4i minus A, and that will give us 1, negative 2, negative 3, 6. Again, our constant terms are always zero. So I just always write it as the augmented matrix just to help you visualize that solution. We take our augmented, augmented matrix and row reduce. And then again, we have infinitely many solutions. If we let x2 be t, then our eigenvectors all have the form where first component x1 is 2t and our second component x2 is t. So if we pull out that t, we see that our eigenvectors in this case are all scalar multiples of the vector 2, 1. So we could say that our eigenvector is the vector 2, 1. We can also say that it's the vector 4, 2, or the vector 6, 3. Any scalar multiple of 2, 1 is a, a correct answer. And so if we want the basis for the eigenspace corresponding to eigenvalue 4, it would be the vector 2, 1, or any scalar multiple of that vector. And so the dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equals four would be one since there is one vector in that basis. Okay, so let's do one more example. Let's find the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors of the three by three matrix uh, given here. So remember we first have to find the characteristic polynomial. So we wanna compute the determinant of lambda i minus a and figure out well, what values of lambda that determinant is zero. So here is uh, the determinant of lambda i minus a. I'm going to expand along the top row. Of course, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to be expanding across the top row. So that will give us lambda minus 4 times lambda minus 3 times lambda minus 2, and then it'll be minus 0, and then plus 1 times 0 minus a negative lambda minus three. I got a little bit of algebra. So if we factor out the lambda minus three, what remains cleans up to lambda squared minus six lambda plus nine. And so the whole thing factors into lambda minus three cubed. So our characteristic polynomial is lambda minus three cubed. And our eigenvalue, we would say that we have a single eigenvalue lambda equals three of multiplicity three. So let's find the corresponding eigenvectors. We know our eigenvalue is three. We need to solve the equation three i minus a x equals zero. And recall, this is what the matrix A looks like in this example. So we need three i minus a. Um, this is what we get. We row reduce, and it simplifies as follows. So we're here, when we go to solve our system, we're going to actually need two parameters, right? We have two columns without a leading one. So we need two parameters. So if we let x2 equal s and x3 equal t, then our eigenvectors have the form, our first component x1 equals t, second component is s, and our third component is t. We pull this apart into s's and t's, and so our eigenvectors are any linear combination of the vectors 0, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 1. So we would say that a basis for the eigenspace corresponding to eigenvalue 3 would contain the two vectors 0, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 1. So the dimension for this eigenspace would be 2 since there are two vectors in the basis. Uh, there are more examples um, of finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors in the slides that are posted to Blackboard. 
And in our last example, we're going to see what happens in the case when our eigenvalues are complex numbers. But that's all for now.